Hey my friends, in question 9a part 1, they're asking us to solve a pair of simultaneous equations. And that's an easy 5 marks. Now here they have given us equation 1, y is equal to 8 minus x. And let me just quickly label these equations. This is my equation. Equation number 1, okay? In equation number 2, they have given us here 2x squared. So let's just put in that squared. 2x squared plus xy is equal to negative 16, okay? And this is my equation, equation number 2, okay? Now, what I'm going to be doing, I'm not going to be skipping any steps. I'm going to simply walk you through this equation so that you get the general idea and appreciation of what is happening, okay? Now, if you notice in my equation 1, I have already have y is equal to some expression in x, okay? So, basically, what I'll be doing here, anywhere I... I see y in the second equation, equation 2, I'm going to just substitute this value up here, which is x, 8 minus x, into this equation, okay? So I can simply say here, to, to begin with, to substitute, substitute y is equal to 8 minus x into equation number 2, okay? Now, equation 2 states that 2x squared plus, plus xy, xy is equal to minus 16, okay? Now, since uh, y is multiplying x, then I can replace the y with 8 minus x, okay? Because what this is saying, y is the same as 8 minus x, all right? So, I'm going to end up with a 2x squared plus x and to indicate that I'm multiplying I'm going to open parenthesis and I'm going to replace the y now with 8 minus x okay close parenthesis and that must be equal to negative 16 okay so simply from here my friends what I'm going to do I'm going to simply expand my brackets so here I'm going to have a 2x squared plus x times 8 that will give me a 8x Okay, and x times negative x, that will give me a negative x squared, okay? And that is equal to minus 16. Now, simply from here in, I can just group my like terms, okay? So here I have a 2x squared and I have a negative x squared, okay? And then I have a positive 8x okay and all of that is equal to minus 16 now all I'm going to do is to simplify my equation 2x squared minus x squared I can say that will leave me with x squared okay positive x squared and I have a positive 8x here okay now if you notice over here I have a negative 16 and let me just put back that for now now my friends here what I have here is a quadratic equation. And why it is a quadratic equation? Because the highest power of the variable in x is 2. Okay, so to solve my quadratic, I am going to bring everything on the left hand, on the right hand side to my left hand side. So I'll be left with 0 on my right hand side. Okay, so here I'm going to say x squared plus 8x. Okay, and if I'm taking over the 16 over here, the negative 16, since it's negative, I must do the opposite, which is to add 16 to both sides. So I'm going to have to add 16, and that is equal to 16, which I've added here, minus the 16 that I have there, okay? So these positive 16 will cancel out with a negative 16, so therefore, I am left with x squared plus 8x plus 16 and that is equal to 0 okay so here I have a quadratic now I'll be required to solve my quadratic okay so let's just split the screen okay my friends so if you notice I've just rewrite my quadratic equation up top so hence we must now solve our quadratic equation now we're going to solve it by using the AC method okay now our AC method and let me just make a quick note over here we're going to solve our quadratic by using the AC method okay now what is the value of a we know that the value of a is a coefficient of x squared so the value of a in this case would be 1 1 is my a and 
I'm going to multiply that by C and C is positive 16 any value that is out here so I'm going to say multiplied by positive 16 and I'm going to take the product of that 1 times 16 is 16 okay now simply uh, my product is 16 so I need to now find factors of 16 when I add them I get a positive 8 there okay so we need to find factors of 16 and if you're not sure as to how to solve a quadratic equation you could always check out our playlist on solving quadratics where we show you different methods of solving a quadratic equation okay now right away I'm just going to get straight to the point for the essence of this video I am going to say what two numbers what two factors of 16 can I multiply to get 16 and when I add them I get a positive 8 and obviously 4 positive 4 times positive 4 is equal to a positive 16 which I have there and if I should take my factors which is 4 and add them 4 plus 4 that would give me a positive 8 okay so here I have my positive 8 which is the sum B and I have my product which is AC so I'm going to split up this 8 now into factors of 4 times 4 4 plus 4 so here I'm going to take back down my x squared okay and then I'm going to split my 8 and I'm going to have 4x okay plus 4x and if you notice nothing has changed I've just split 8x by saying 4x plus 4x it still has the same value I am just simply factorizing by grouping okay and I have my positive 16 is equal to 0 now what I'm going to do I am going to find what is common to these two terms at the front here my x and my x squared and my 4x rather so here my friends I'm going to say x is common to both so let's take out that x open bracket x into x square will leave us with a x and x into 4x will leave us with a positive 4 okay now again I am going to do the same thing over here I am going to find out what is common to 4x and 16 all right so here I have a positive sign so I'm going to place back my positive sign there and I'm going to say 4x and 16 shares a common factor of 4 okay again I'm going to open my bracket 4 into 4x leaves us with an x and 4 into positive 16 leaves us with a positive 4 okay so let's close the bracket and that's equal to 0 now my friends this is simply put uh, a, a neat little way of looking at it is that since we have the same to know that you're on the right track before I move any further to know that you're on the right track you must have the same things inside both brackets okay if you don't have the same thing inside both brackets that simply means you have made a mistake so you just have to go back through your working and check yourselves okay now after you have reached here and you have the same thing inside the brackets now simply put my friends you just you're just going to rewrite what's in inside one of the brackets which is x plus 4 so I'm going to just simply say x plus 4 and I'm going to close bracket and then I'm going to open another bracket and if you notice I have a x outside there so I'm going to put it in the next bracket and whatever value is here I have a positive 4 there and I'm going to simply put that in another bracket now we have just factorized or quadratic so I'm going to say that's equal to 0 then now my friends I'm just simply going to take what's inside one of my brackets and uh, inside both of my brackets and I'm going to equate it to 0 and solve so I'm going to say x plus 4 that's inside this bracket and I'm going to equate that to 0 and let's just quickly solve so 4 is being added to x so I'm going to say x plus 4 minus 4 must be equal to 0 minus 4 okay and then I'm going to simply say a positive 4 will cancel out with a negative 4 so obviously we're left with x is equal to uh, 0 minus 4 that's a uh, negative 4 okay or 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 I've just took this factor now I'm going to take this one all right so I'm going to say or x plus 4 is equal to 0 and I'm going to do the same thing solve for x so I'm going to say x plus 4 minus 4 okay remember 4 is being added so I have to do the opposite is equal to 0 minus 4 okay so we're going to be left with x is equal to 4 minus 4 will cancel out so we're left with x there and 0 minus 4 is at negative 4 again okay now if you notice for both answers for both answers I have x 
is equal to negative 4 okay so um, this is a graph and that's what we're going to be looking at in part 2 to show that this is a tangent all right I'm just giving you a thumbs up on what is to come now if you notice we have found two values for X okay so obviously we need to find two corresponding Y values also all right so let's just split the screen and we're going to find those two value now my friends as I've promised I wasn't going to skip any step so I'm going to finish up this by walking you through here if you notice we have two X values so we need to find our two corresponding Y values now if you notice up here I've made a note we're going to substitute each X value in the simplest equation and if you notice the original equation that they gave us over here in equation one the simplest one is Y is equal to 8 minus X so we're going to be using that one okay so we're going to say when substitute x is equal to negative 4 into equation 1 so we're going to say y is equal to 8 minus x okay so therefore y must be equal to 8 minus and we have a x there and our x is negative 4 so we're subtracting negative okay now we should all know from earlier lessons that a negative in front of a parenthesis we need the opposite of what's inside there so this will work out to be when two negative signs clash we get a positive all right so positive 4 so y is equal to 12 8 plus 4 that will give us a 12 okay now if you notice x my two x values are the same so my two y values are obviously going to be the same okay so I can just simply make a note without even calculating the other y value I can simply make a note here that my my other y value will be repeated okay repeated alright so you can simply make that note now we can now say therefore when when x is equal to negative 4 y is equal to 12 okay and again I'm going to put repeated okay repeated to suggest that these two values we have two y values that will be 12 and two x values that will be negative 4 hope you enjoy this lesson uh, feel free to subscribe so that you get the latest updates from our channel or like us on Facebook so you keep up to date with what is happening at Will Edutech and even share the videos with your friends so that they can have an equal opportunity to uh, pass their exams okay thanks for watching bye bye